this time we are playing Bug 2. And I don't remember very much about this game because uh, it kind of sucks, I think. <laughs> like I said, I don't remember much, but I just never, never was as compelling as the first game, if you can call the first game compelling. And I think part of the reason you're seeing it right now is because the first stage is this graveyard stage. And I have a pet peeve about this, which I will explain. But basically, I mean, you know, th th there's a reason why every single uh, Sonic game starts with, you know, a Green Hill Zone type stage. It's because they're colorful. And they're... <laughs> that, that guy... Okay, that's that's a good enemy. I can't lie. Um, they're colorful, you know. They they, they can kind of set the tone for the rest of the game, and uh, they they inspire you to keep playing the game and, and to uh, you know have fun. But conversely, when you have a graveyard stage, which is so highly stylized from the music to the look and everything, and of course you have this. Kind of, oh shit. See, we're picking up right where we left off in Bug 1. Um, you know, everything's kind of muted color scheme and everything, and certain types of enemies that are like so. Not the most exciting to look at, or kind of cliche. Uh, I think it just, it's just a bad way to start this, a bad way to set a first impression for your game, you know? And, uh, this is not the only game that does this. Gex was another, uh, platformer from this... ...from this era which did this. Does this pop up or something? What was this, like, shovel on the ground? Okay, you can't jump there. And yeah, I always just thought, that especially with, like, Gex, it was just, you know... This is a bad way to set the tone for your game. It's like, I don't want to keep playing... I, I, I'm not inspired to play this game because the first stage is so drab and dull looking and I, I, I don't know Halloween theme first first stage it just seems weird it's not a good choice checkpoint you got that amazing fog effect now I don't know how they're actually doing that because uh, Sega Saturn couldn't do like the translucent textures very well so is that just it could just be a really good mesh I mean, we know this from Burning Rangers and other games that th that was extremely taxing for the Sega Saturn to do, translucent stuff. And already I can tell, like, just the level design in this game is inferior. You have more moves, like you can do this little, you know, air float thing. Bug juice. Of course, more uh, more dialogue and everything. More more new lines. I don't know if that's the same voice actor or not. He sounds a little different. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. It looks like you could... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I pressed jump. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm doing terribly here. I'm not used to this kind of... Okay, I guess you can just... Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely dead. I think you get more hits in this game. Like, one more, maybe? Okay. That's not bad. I think all the characters have their own uh, death scene. Look at that skill. Can I duck? How do you duck? Oh, okay. So, yeah, let's just do that. Okay, stand by him, just... Oh, okay. Fake me out. Yeah, just duck. Easy, okay, but you have to move. Jeez. Tally-ho. Oh! This guy is no joke. First boss? 
It's like Dark Souls. Okay, one hit. Yeah. 50, that's all you get for killing him. So yeah, as I was saying in the last video, I had a funny story about uh, people shutting the game off, you know, when there's no password, no save function, nothing. Because that was an actual, like, legit problem back in the day. You know, nowadays, like, it's just not a, you know, no one, <laughs> you might forget to save your game or something, but it, it wasn't like, it just didn't exist. So if someone shuts the game off, it's just game over. But, uh, yeah, I was, I was, like, waiting to go to my friend's house or something like that, and his mom was gonna come pick me up, and, uh, for some reason, like, my friend's brother came, came with them, and, we, and like, I was just at the house with my dad, and we were playing X-Men 2 on the Genesis, uh, Clone Wars, and, uh, we got, like, farther than we had ever gotten in the game, and we were actually, like, getting into it and stuff, and, uh, yeah, so then, like, they come over to, like, pick me up or whatever, and my friend's brother is, uh, starts playing X-Men 2, you know, and he's like, oh, hey, let me try, so he plays the game or whatever, and, uh, you know, friend's mom is, like, sitting there talking to my dad or whatever, and then they're like, okay, you know, it's time to go, let's, let's pack it up or whatever, and, uh, my friend's brother just, like, sh just cuts the damn Genesis off, and I'm like, <laughs> I looked at my dad and he was so pissed like he just had this look on his face like you know what the fuck are you doing cuz there's no you know it was just all of our progress was lost and uh, I just like for some reason that that uh, incident is just saved in my memory forever cuz like he just he just had this look of death like <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? You just shut the game off. It's not even your damn console. You know, like, you're in the house for ten minutes and you just messed up all of our progress. It's ridiculous. Because, like, he probably would have kept going after I left. He would have, he probably would have beat the game or something. But no. Just cut the game right off. This guy again? Does he have... Oh, he runs at you this time. Okay, let's... We're not... We're not messing around this time. I like this background, though. Okay, it's like... Ah, oh, jeez. What's he doing? Ugh. Okay, so we can just... Yeah, use the invincibility frames to our advantage. Beautiful. Just that easy. Alright. Yeah, th <sighs> this game is, like, deeply boring to me. <laughs> I mean, Bug 1 wasn't great, but it felt a little more refined, which is odd because it was, you know, like, one of the first Sega Saturn games to come out. Bug 1 is like a, like a continuation of the Sega Genesis. So it was like doing a Sega Genesis game in 3D, or at least figuring out how to. And this game tries to like own its own like shortcomings, I guess. You know, because obviously Bug One is is an experimental game because they're figuring out how to even render the graphics and you know how to animate things and how stuff works and you know what kind of objectives to give the player and what they can and can't do and but this game it's like trying to oh great there's a checkpoint I needed that I'd be like taking something that's experimental and then taking the natural shortcomings from that and being like oh yeah this is how this is how our franchise is it's just stupid and you know like like obviously the level design and bug is kind of kind of lame kind of limited you know cuz they didn't really know what they were doing yet and in this game it's like yeah this is this is just how it is this is how bug is going to be and a, a franchise really should not be based around you know things like this If that makes any sense at all. I'm not sure if I really explained that in the best way, but I 
It's like rather than expanding or improving on the things that Bug One does well, it just kind of doubles down on everything. Oh, this looks this looks dangerous. Which way do I go? All right, clearly not this way. Oh yeah. Just as I said. Okay, luckily I can walk. Oh god. Why are there bats? Why do they track you? Why can you not run? Okay. What does that do? I don't know. Can I go back now? That was, <laughs> like I said, deeply boring. Oh, he's tiny. That's stupid. Instability frames. Where'd he go? Oh, he's dead. Okay, that... That was... <laughs> why, why did that exist? That was... Uh, was that supposed to be a joke or something? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is gonna suck. Where is the spit? There it is. What do I do? Can I use my eye frames? Okay, no, this is not a good strategy. Well, maybe. If I can just... Can I just jump over that, maybe? Okay, let's see. Yeah, you can just jump over that. Okay. Okay. That is a good strategy. Just jump over that shit. Okay. Okay, well, that was my first hit, so that wasn't too bad. I pressed jump there. Didn't jump. Okay, we can just finish this the cheap way. Boom. Stupid. Is there a cutscene? Two, my little gladiators. 